Hey folks, Turbine Guy coming back at you. Today, I want to show you a quick and easy install for a hot tub. It's really not that difficult, and I think just about anyone who's a little handy can do it. Don't forget to check your local building codes to see what building and or electric permits you're going to need to install your hot tub. You're basically running three wires from your breaker box up here. Two hots, a neutral, and then you got to run a ground as well. So if you look and see what I've done here, because I've taken the side of the hot tub off and I took the cover off of the uh, cabinet here and then I ran my wires and I've got them run in to one hot, two hot and my neutral and I've got my ground coming up and in here too. So then I have those running from the disconnect. Now on the disconnect I got those two hots and the neutral coming in but I've also got two hots, a neutral and of course the ground coming in from the house. The wires coming from the house are a standard six gauge Romex as opposed to the THHN I'm sending out to the hot tub for wet locations. So that's going to be the hardest part when you're doing this is trying to figure out how to run that wire and run it in a professional manner. Now I've got a 50 amp breaker for this and you need to look at your hot tub manual to see what size. I needed a 50 amp breaker which meant I need 6 gauge wire. So that's what I'm running in this system is a 6 gauge wire. Turbine Guy only likes to use copper wiring. It is much better than aluminum. And don't forget to check the National Electrical Code and Pasity charts to ensure that you are using the proper size wire for the current rating of your hot tub. Let's go down to the electric panel and take a look. Now we're in the basement and we're gonna see how I ran the wire. Now I've got the wire right up here and it's a six, six gauge triple wire with the ground in it, but I had to run it through the crawl space, which wasn't an easy job. And that's, like I said, upstairs, the hardest thing to do is figure out where to run it. So we got it tacked up all the way around. And we got this guy coming down right in the top of the electric panel. And I got it on my 50 amp breaker. And this breaker is a GFCI breaker. You got to remember that. GFCI breaker, it's a water area. You don't want no one to get electrocuted. Here's a close up of the ground fault breaker I put in for the hot tub. It is a 50 amp double breaker. And you can see we've got both hots coming in on either side where they belong. The neutral from the hot tub coming in. The ground, of course, is running over to the ground bar. And then the neutral coming out of the GFI is hooked up to the neutral bar as is required. So there you have it folks, you got the wiring from the breaker up to the hot tub, pretty quick and simple, a little bit tedious, but I know you can do it. Turbine Guy, signing off.